party people all right so a little bit different well a lot different from my normal content on the channel but nevertheless when you have what I have in my hands when you when you are bestowed with what I have received you have got to share it and so please indulge me as I have a moment with some of my car scene people some of my anime people nevertheless you saw the title unboxing Watanabe's let's go you can see right there it's just got the Falcons on the side it's got like your size fitment down there you know so um, yeah it's got the type R and a half uh, 5 by 100 and it's a 16 inch rim so that's what came in man so you got the little Watanabe Racing Service. There's actually a video on YouTube of a guy who actually went out and visited the factory in itself. And it's like, it's no frills. I mean, it's it's just this run-of-the-mill garage pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it doesn't look like it is the Watanabe factory at all. You don't get a tracking. You don't get shit. Like, you just pretty much place your order. There's only two people that I know of that actually, well, two places I suppose in the US where you can actually get these ordered through. And the people that I went to were Circuit Dreamer or Techno Toy Tuning. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's ridiculously hard to get these. You gotta have somebody who's in the end to, in order to get these special made up, especially by 5x100. By Typically, you're going to get a 4 bolt, but for a GT86, you need a 5 bolt. And so, unless you're really willing to do conversions and all that other kind of stuff, you got to get it special ordered because you're not going to find them pretty much anywhere. The order was supposed to have taken 3 to 5 months, but it actually wound up being 6 months for me. I got a little bit of the story the other day ago, so I'm not even gonna provide you all that. But literally, that's it, man. I mean, you don't get no stickers, you get the pad, the box, none of that. They do come in a nice little bag, so I'll take that to But who cares? Once they're mounted, that's the only thing that matters right there, you know? And so, that's it. 16 by eight and a half. Nice deep dish, how I wanted it. Nice clean lip on there. And yeah, that is the old school A86 Torino. Of course, Argus has got to check it out. You know what I mean? You already seen these. You've seen them in the other box. Yeah, so that's what's going on with these. Right there, it's going to go on to the GT86. And that is the true Watanabe. That's what you get right there. This nice little swan. I can even get that on the camera. But this a little nice little swan right there, type bar. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. I, I just I it's what I wanted to go for as far as the general look. So I'm actually en route to go ahead and have these mounted and all that good stuff with the meat. And so yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, post a video after they're mounted on the vehicle and just do a quick shot of my current setup along with the wheels themselves. All right. And so there we have it fully mounted and on the actual car itself. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Before I continue on with anything in this video, I want to do a big, big, big shout out to Circuit Dreamer. You can look them up. I will leave their description or their tag, their handle of Instagram up in the description area. But um, Circuit Dreamer is one of, I believe, only two people in the entire U.S. that you can actually order these through. Um, as far as the pure, genuine, 100%, no crap Watanabe's, and at a very, very good price. Uh, very, very thankful for the order in itself. Had a little bit of a delay, but it was definitely not on their behalf. It was on Watanabe's behalf. There was some production errors, some things that were going on. And so nevertheless, it got taken care of and it took me six months. Also, big shout out to Southwest Tire out here in Sacramento who helped me out. Got me in there, got me fitted, got the tires that I wanted. The actual spec on the rim, once again, it's eight and a half, or 16 by eight and a half. It's a negative six offset and the tires themselves are Toyos and those are 205.50 on a 16. 
So a little bit of a stretch just to give it that nice tuck that I want and I don't look to do any rocket bunny kit and all that kind of crazy stuff. Uh, I would prefer to stay away from fender flares and things of that nature but uh, yeah definitely a coil over adjustment as far as getting the tuck right and all that kind of good stuff. But nevertheless that is as it currently sits ladies and gentlemen that's my project right there and so yeah this is another little side part of me for any of my car people my anime people if you know of the AE86 initial D what is up and I do love the car scene and maybe it's a segue for me to kind of you know talk about how I got into it a little bit why do I appreciate the car scene and uh, why do I feel that you know expressing yourself through your vehicle is it's a good part of life I don't know I may get into that we'll see where this goes I, I would love to hear if any of you are car fans out there maybe that you've already been on the channel and now you're checking this out like what the fuck is Paris doing he doesn't do no car videos but yeah uh, I think this definitely warrants a good occasion to bring them up considering they're such a hard find and such a classic look of rim uh, really brings out that retro look on the car in itself. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you all have to say about it. Anybody that's coming into the channel, maybe new, and you are into the car scene and things of that nature, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What got you into it? Um, how did it start? What kind of projects you got going on right now? I'd love to hear that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, like, comment, follow.